welcome back to my channel. I hope you all are having a wonderful day and I hope that I can give you some motivation to get up and get going today. If you are new to my channel, I am a mom of three and I make a lot of mommy content and of course cleaning videos. I generally post a few vlogs and one cleaning video every week and um, just showing you guys real life. So today I wanted to go through the house and hit every single area. Um, but to be honest, it wasn't like overly cluttered or dirty. I just wanted to do a clean sweep the day before I had done a lot of stuff and it just needed a little bit of a pickup and I needed to focus in on my laundry. So like I was showing you there, I love using the Method products, particularly the Ginger Mango, I believe is that scent. Um, it smells so good and it does a great job at getting my clothes really clean. So um, along with getting the laundry caught up with and folded, I kind of wanted to clean the laundry room as well. So I just used a bubble up scrub brush and some dish soap and scrubbed out the sink because my husband uses it a lot to wash his hands and when he's working in the garage and that sort of thing. So it gets kind of cruddy um, if I don't keep up with it. So. Between that and just wiping down the washer and dryer and the shelving um, and mopping the floor and all of that. Um, this is a walkway because it is our back door as well and it just gets a lot of traffic. This area is actually our family room area. It's right between the garage door, the back door, and the laundry room. And then the other door that's there is actually a bathroom that I am working on painting the linoleum in there. Yes, you heard me right, painting the linoleum. Um, I can't wait for it to be done and we'll have another bathroom that's usable in our house because that bathroom has been kind of out of commission since we moved here a couple years ago and I'm slowly working on it and getting it in working order. Again, this is another room that has had a lot of work done to it. We actually tore down a wall between that walk space area and this, and um, there was just, yeah, a lot of things done. I got this rug, which is, by the way, at a really good price point right now. I will leave it in the description along with other things that you might see in this video. There is a shop this vlog area in the description box um, where I leave links that are commonly asked about or just things that I show in my videos. So you can use that as a resource. So recently I have actually went off of regular coffee for pretty much the most part unless I'm in town to grab a drink um, at Starbucks or something like that. So I've been making myself decaf and I can't believe how much energy I'm still having. Um, I'm taking two different supplements in the morning instead of my coffee. They're just herbal supplements I get on Amazon and I just have so much more energy and just clarity of mind and it really goes to show that after drinking so much caffeine for so many years and just you know overdoing it your body just can't handle it anymore and I'm just seeing how much more motivated I am to get up and get my house cleaned and get my to-do list done and I totally encourage you to find what motivates you and if you find that something is holding you back from being motivated to eliminate it because sometimes we're doing things that we think are gonna help give us energy like drinking caffeine whenever they're really just slowing us down and not helping us at all Another good example of that idea is I used to try to clean the playroom up every 
single day. And now I don't clean it every day, to be honest. I just let it go and I let the girls play in it. And every couple days I'll pick things up. And I've also been getting them to help me pick things up, which actually honestly motivates me whenever I take them in a room with me and give them their different jobs. It kind of helps me out too, to keep my motivation up. So like I said, find what works for you to be motivated and get the job done, girl. Whenever I go through my whole house, I actually start in the upstairs of the house in our bedroom and then work my way down to the laundry room. But today I decided to do it all backwards. That's kind of a trick that I learned um, from years of being a personal housekeeper for other people is once in a while I would do my routine at their house completely backwards. And it kind of helps you think about things that you wouldn't normally do. It's a little less monotonous and just like you know, that you're going through the motions of your routine. Um, whenever you have to challenge your brain to do something backwards, like sometimes they say to try eating with the opposite hand or <laughs> that kind of thing, it just stretches your brain. And I think that's so true because even this day, there was a couple things that I did that sometimes I forget to do just because it's so a part of my routine. are new around here I would absolutely love it if you subscribed and just join this community of women I know that a lot of times there is such a huge amount of encouragement even in the comments um, and just know that this is a positive place and a place where you can go for inspiration Feels were mine. We played hide and seek for hours, raised our shadows among the pines. So offshore, playful and free, without a care in the world. I was one rich little girl, daydreamer, kidnap me, take me back all the way back. The bathroom was next and I don't know why but every morning this is the scenario with the bathroom it's such a mess well I do know why we get ready in there but I need to get better at putting things away after I use them whenever I'm getting ready in the morning because it just all gets cluttered up with all of us my husband getting ready for work and my girls getting their hair combed 
all of the things that happen in this room in the morning just tends to create a lot of clutter. Also, as I was editing this, I just realized that if you go back a couple seconds, there is a spider that comes out of the crack behind the sink and I didn't see it until I was editing this. So this is my favorite combo to do the toilet. It's the Method Bowl Cleaner and then the Method Anti-Back. I just spray it all down from top to bottom, wipe it all down from top to bottom. And I am one that definitely likes to use paper towels when it comes to the toilet. It's just gross and um, I don't really want anything in my washer um, associated with wiping this toilet down. So the two rooms I did not get to this day were our bedroom because my husband was taking a nap in there till I got to it. And then, like I said earlier, I did not do the playroom this day just because I just feel like it's wasting my energy and motivation um, on something that doesn't really need to be done every single day. Thanks a lot for watching today. Don't forget to give this video a like and I will see you guys in my next video.